I think this is my only entrance. Yep. Uh, let's go. That wasn't so tough. Maybe tower security isn't as tight as I thought. Well, I hope there's no one down here because this is some loud ass material that I'm standing on. Okay. Well, two objectives down, now I'm inside. That one's kind of just a given, the one at the top. Okay, so I need to spy on Karis. Break into his office. And... Read his latest entry, which would probably be in his office. I would think. Alright, so basically, spy on Karis. That's basically, basically my mission. Brethren, the guard on the office door shall be changed upon every three hours, though I trust that our guests shall not be curious enough to attempt entrance. For further precaution, however, Father Karras hath entrusted me with the sole key. Damn it. Most of the alarms and watchers that protect the tower hath also been disabled to prevent our guests from causing any mishaps. While I expect the nobility to mind their manners, remain thou ever vigilant. Friend Vilnia. Alright, so Vilnia has the key. The key to what? Oh, the office door. Okay. So, Vilnia has the key to the office door. Let's see what's this way. There's something over here. Don't think I want to go in there right now. What's up here? I hear someone. I think they're gonna hear me. In fact, I'm pretty much certain of it. Oh shit, I can't shoot an arrow on a ladder. Okay, yeah, I'm going down. Ow. You know, someone just cried for help. I think I better reload. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's go this way. Okay, there's someone in there. Oh, it's an elevator. I hear one of those machines. Well, that elevator doesn't exactly make for a silent entrance. Come on. Looks like a perfect place to loot. Oh sweet, a flash bomb.
Okay, oh my god. Yep, this is gonna take a while. Alright, so the office is on the fifth floor. That's the elevator, I'm on the second floor. I don't think I want to go to the first floor. Unless I have to, to find Vilnia. Really? There's nothing up here to steal? Oh, hello. Actually, none of those are worth money. What's in here? I'm picking a door that doesn't even have a keyhole. Maybe this is where they keep the good stuff? Yes, it is. <laughs> I am going to be just swimming in money after I'm done here. I already have 1300. Oh my god. Friend Vilnia, note thee well the following. Tis the final listing of the voice machines. Make it thy task to be sure the servants have them placed and working before the arrival of tonight's guest. Further forget not the machine for our special guest. The machine for our special guest. Hmm. Hopefully they don't mean me. Some anti-thief machine? Anyway, the voice machines, would those be alarms? Alright, well I'm on two, and apparently a special... Uh, the voice machine is in the library. Wherever that is. Let's go find it. I'm gonna wait for that to come around and try that again, because I do not want that thing after me. So I need to remove it from the equation. And by equation, I mean the level. Take a sip of my cherry limeade. Mmm. Alright, I'm gonna wait for him to get a bit back. Oh, oh god damn it. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna go a different way. Let's go bash this guy in the head with my shaft. For Paris, is there someone there? Nope. The wind plays tricks on me today. <laughs> Do I hear someone coming? Come on, come on. Oh my god, this door takes forever. The hell is behind this? Better be something good. Whew. Whoops. Shit, I just jumped. I don't think he heard.
Man, just a while ago, I was worried about paying my rent. But I think Garrett could probably buy an entire apartment complex now. Maybe he should do that. Can you imagine Garrett changing his line of work and becoming a landlord? Mm, no. I don't think he'd be into that. I don't know where that noise is coming from. Maybe it's upstairs. Well, I have a key. I don't suppose this was Vilnia? No, nah, that'd be too easy. Well, I have a key to something. Is it to this door? Yeah. Damn it. Oh, this is the voice machine. What the hell's on it? I shouldn't be stepping across that. Oh god. Can I flash it? Oh god. I'm fucked. I'm just gonna reload. I'm gonna die. Really? It saw me? Alright. I was only in yellow. I didn't think it'd see me that fast. Damn it. Does it have... does it have super hearing? I think it might. Rose for a second, but it didn't stop. Oh god. This is not going how I thought it would. Ah, oh, god damn it. Maybe these are like upgraded and they can't be broken so easily? I love the sound effects they make. They did such a great job with the sound effects for the robots. Alright, well, that was a huge waste of water arrows, but I did it. And now there's finally peace and quiet. Please get out of my way.
There we go. I like how the the parts sound like ceramic. That whole thing probably weighs like 500 pounds, but it goes tink, tink, tink. Alright, what the hell's in here? That is the stairs up. Which is actually probably how I should get up. Because it's either the stairs or the elevator. And the elevator is loud as shit. And shit's pretty loud, yo. I think these are charging stations for the robots. Alright, there's nowhere to go but up now, at this point. Oh, shit. What the fuck is this? Interesting. It looks like I'm right over the main concourse. I'm not sure what the hell main... I'm not sure what concourse means. But main chamber. Alright, it's another one of those talking machines. Or sound machines, whatever they call them. Alright, let me go check out the one that's in the library and see exactly what's on it. Message number three of six. Lord Gerlady, behold the Builder's Chapel. It is here we reflect upon the Builder's great plan. The servants I am giving thee are examples of our strivings toward his ideal. Before they were servants, the souls behind the masks were lost and unproductive. Now, they are models of efficiency. Alas, if only I could be there to share with thee the wonder of this moment. But I digress. On with the tour! So, Karis doesn't even show up for his own party. Yeah, he just phoned it in. Pardon the pun. I really love the job they did with his voice. I mean... Wait, the job they did with his voice? That doesn't even make sense. I really love the voice that Karis has. It's so creepy and weird. Like, just from the voice, I imagine he looks like some bizarre, hideous monster. He just sounds creepy. Hmm, <sighs> <sighs> yes, lovely gears. Alright, let's go upstairs. Actually, wait. Wait a minute, do I, I th do I have to hear them all? Oh yeah, now I can't spy on him because he's not here. Yep, activate all the voice machines to hear Karis' messages. Alright, so that was three of... six? Uh, where's that note? Oh wait, that, oh, that's not the floor, is it? That's the... Just the location?
right? Yeah. Okay, anyway. Alright, so there's one here. Question is, could I go down that and get to it and then go back up? Uh, can I put a rope arrow in something? No. I really hope I can get back up here. Don't tell me that thing just goes back and forth. Okay, looks like I have a minute. Question is, can I get up? Yes, I can. Okay, whew. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Message number one of six. It is functioning. Hello. Oh. My good guest, welcome to Angel Watch. I have gathered you here, citizens of exceptional greeting, for a fine and festive evening. The bill is worth never ceasing. That I am not able to attend in person, but I am present in heart and voice, as you can plainly hear. Franvinia will be your host in my absence. Now, our evening together begins. If I heard that as a welcoming message to a party, I would get the hell out and never come back. Hmm, should I explore the rest of this down here? Nah, I'm just gonna go back up. Wait, if I can... Wait, is that grading? I think I can use the vines on grading. Shit. That didn't work. Oh, wait, wait, this is a moss arrow. Whoops. I guess I just saw something green and assumed it was a, a vine arrow. Well, let's try that again. Yes, those things are lifesavers. Okay, now time to go up the stairs, which are somewhere. I totally forgot where they are. Uh, this way. And that's to the next floor up. Okay, third floor. It always sounds like there's someone right next to me. Like that, for example. But I think that's above me.
Listen, didst thou hear it? A sound. I think he's going to turn around. Yep. And wait for it. Come with me, sir. You are going to join the man pile at the bottom of the stairs. No, that is not how you do it. Do it right this time. Bad unconscious body. Bad. There you go. I'm gonna die. I'll end thy sinful ways. Whew. Wow, I ran out onto marble once before and managed to ninja uh, blackjack someone, but man, she just turned around instantly. Wait, are they upstairs? Shit, someone found bodies. Oh my god, I that freaked the shit out of me. I totally forgot that you could activate them yourselves. Oh. I was trying to pick it up. Whoops. Well, at least that allows me to redo this part. Wait, where am I? I'm going the wrong... Oh, okay, no, I'm going the right way. This is a cleaning supply closet. All right, let me knock her out. Hmm. I think she has a long patrol path. It's probably going to be a bit till she comes back. Wait, I think... Yep. Yeah. Okay, she's coming back. Just going to hang out right here. If there's someone right behind that door, they could hear me. I hear the Shit. Toad. Wait, that, that's on a different floor. Yeah, that's on a different floor. Message number five of six. The builder created beauty to bring us joy. For the joyful of spirit walked the longest. And in this gallery we find beauty. Fine guest thou surely have precious works of art in thy home. Here too the servants are of use. They are completely trustworthy. At first hint of trouble they will call the nearest guard. 
take some time to appreciate our reality. Being here when it's walking to the ball. Was that a blow? Well, that interrupted my message. I wanted to hear that. Okay, so they do come up from another floor. Now see, this brings up an interesting question about how the AI react to sound. Now, them freaking out because they hear footsteps up there makes no sense. Because obviously other guards have been walking there making the exact same noise and they have no way to know that the noise is now not coming from a guard, but is now coming from a thief. However, wouldn't it be extremely complicated to program it so that they didn't react to noise in areas where they expected noise? I mean, how would you even do that? I, I, you'd need to, like, map out typical noise in certain areas where the guards normally patrol and then somehow tell the other AI to ignore any noise, any typical noise, coming from typical places where typical guards typically walk or something. I mean, that would be so complicated. So it doesn't, it's frustrating and it doesn't make any sense, but I understand that fixing that would be probably extremely complicated. In fact, actually, I don't play a lot of stealth games. Are there any stealth games out there at all that take that into account? that allow you to make normal, like, walking noises in places where guards would normally walk and other guards don't react because of the fact that that's somewhere where guards would normally walk and they're, you know, they're used to that noise? Is there any stealth game that actually takes that into account? I would be surprised if there were. Because that would be pretty damn difficult. Alright, so let... Oh, fuck, I only have one moss arrow. Damn it. Hmm... I don't think it's going to do me any good. What's the point? I need two. Well, shit. <gasps> oh my god. I don't want to fall. What? Seriously? Okay, good. Message number five of six. The builder created beauty to bring us joy. For the joyful of spirit, walk the longest. And in this gallery, we find beauty. Fine guests all surely have precious works of art in my home. Here, too, the servants are of use. They are completely trustworthy. At first hint of trouble, they will call for the nearest guard. Take some time to appreciate our gallery. Then Vilnia will escort you to the ballroom. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Actually, I could probably use a vine arrow. Yeah, I could shoot a vine arrow into this wood and go up. But I'm just going to use the stairs. Good cog, is that you? <laughs> uh, yes, yes it is. I do want to know what's back there, but I guess I don't have to. Still looking for a book? Well, let me help you with that. This one, you might like. It's called Blackjack to the Back of the Head. 
He seems to have enjoyed it. like those noises that are coming from up there. They don't sound human. That is not human. Oh god, it's another one of those creepy things. Well, they sound creepy. They look ridiculous. So cold. So very cold. All right. Well, they can be knocked out. I've already established that. What was that? Oh shit! Guards, he's over here. <laughs> was she having a conversation with it? Hmm. I didn't expect there to be another person there. Should have checked that. again, guest. I pray your spirits do not suffer for my absence. I present to each a gift. The most wondrous yet of my innovations. A living worker suited to all household tasks. Ready always to perform your bidding. I call them the servants. The servant knows not how to lead or gossip. The servant knows only how to tirelessly perform thy will, be it cooking, cleaning, or gardening. Please, accept them with my gratitude. But the tour continues. Pray do follow Vilnia once again. So, that's what Karis is doing. He's trying to make the servants a household appliance, basically. <laughs> he wants one in every home. But what the people don't know is that the servants are made from people. Unconsenting people. Possibly dead people? I don't know if they're transformed and they're still alive, or if they're just, like, resurrected or something. Creepy. Given the weird noises they make, I would not want one in my home. I'm going to take him out when he comes back. Who's making those noise? Speak. Okay, there's people in there. I'm just going to close that. Uh, uh, uh. Oh god. Oh god, is he going to see me? Eh, eh, <laughs> This isn't good. Man, I just keep fucking up stealth. Okay, let me load. I'm getting by, but I'm really not doing a very good job. I think I just need to be more patient, so let me just wait for this guy to come back.
Are they swapping places? Whoa. Wait, she found someone? Who did she find? Why the hell didn't that go off? They were like all gathered there, it was perfect. What the hell? Come on, man. My fuel is all What's wrong with you? Oh, now you go off. Okay, so someone's discovering something over here. Guards. Guards. Oh no, don't call for guards. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Fuel is Alright, so who is... Uh, someone's finding the bodies. I don't think my save is in a good place for me to do anything about it. Just let them call for the guards. They're not gonna find me. Murder. murder? What the hell are you talking about? I haven't murdered anyone. Well, actually, I might have murdered someone, but no one's been murdered in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna explore around here before I go back to where they're all aggravated. Alright, that's to the next floor. Let's wait for him to come. <laughs> Seriously, the tunnel light as yet. Okay, he's on a permanent status of high alert. Even though he looks exactly the same as before, apparently now he has supervision. Will he see me here? He's Somebody get him. Oh no, oh no. Come back here, you shit. You shit. You fucking asshole. All right, fuck you. Bring all the guards you want. I'll just lay down a gas mine. Wait, they're not gonna set off the alarm, are they? That would be bad. I'm not gonna save it for like a minute or two. Just in case.
Okay, I think I'm safe. I'm gonna save it. Man, that guy ran off screaming for guards, but he never came back. Maybe he tripped and fell. empty room. I guess it was designed for storing bodies. No, thief. No. Beds are not arranged this way. Ever. No. I, I refuse. I refuse to accept this is where the beds are. This is not happening. And no, people do not design beds with fucking spikes that you can impale yourself on for the bedposts. No. I'm going to close this door and pretend I never saw that. Ooh. Ah, I'm up here. Which allows me to get absolutely nowhere. But I do have quite a view. And apparently it's very foggy. I think I might have pretty much exhausted the fourth floor. I'm on the fourth floor, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, up we go. Where are the stairs? Who the hell are you? It's disturbingly well lit up here. 
Yeah, there's like nowhere for me to take cover except right here. Oh shit. I think that person's coming around the corner. No. <laughs> this is delightfully soft carpet. Oh shit. Who's there? What? Guards! Help! Help over here! Whew. I'm so glad that with citizens you don't have to hit them. Uh in the back. While they're unaware to knock them out. Just one hit anywhere and they're down. Whew. That was close. Let's stick them in the corner and close the door. Jeez. I'm so freaking rich. I'm gonna get my nails done after this. Master guest list. Dorcas Goodfellow. <laughs> in attendance, wonderful name, Dorcas Goodfellow. Lord Bafford in attendance, Madame Denier. Decline invitation. Pagan sympathizer? Wow. Yeah, if someone doesn't want to go to your party, that means they're a pagan sympathizer. Or maybe you're just fucking creepy. Lord Gervasius in attendance. Ramirez, no response. Sir Christopher in attendance. Marie Eleonora in attendance. Archduke de Moore in. Pernilius Pennybuckle. Esque. What does that mean? Esquire? In attendance. That is an amazing name. Pernilius Pennybuckle. Master Willy, in attendance, but quietly escorted off tower grounds. Wanton drunkenness. Okay, a bunch of names, bunch of names. Let's see if anything's important. Squire Shaughness declined because he's touring with the city's Rumpleball League. Whatever the hell Rumpleball is. The Bumblesons? Bumblesons? That's also an amazing name. The Rothschilds. No response. Misplaced invitation. Rothschild. Why does that sound familiar? Not in game, but in the real world. Rothschild. Are they like a super rich group of people or family or something? I know I've heard that name before. Mm, let's see. Okay. In other words, there are a shit ton of very wealthy and influential people at this party. Oh, hi. Is this a child? Because it seems very short. It seems very, very short. A noise. I'm 
as sure of it as the builder himself. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just knocking some people out and stealing all of your worldly possessions. Just gonna close this door. Alright. Okay. And that is a floating glass. Damn it. I thought this was worth something. Nope. Just gonna drop it quietly on the carpet. Hmm. Message number four of six. Privilege get privilege get privilege get privilege get privilege get. I trust she will enjoy this speech presented by the servant I have given you. Imagine a short while ago these servants were consigned to an asylum. Mentally feeble, they were of no use to anyone. Now they are safe and productive. Now they know happiness. Would that I could be with you tonight for the servants make excellent cooks. After you dine, friend Vilnia will guide the arm to the gallery. Why do I get the feeling that all of the guests are going to be made into servants as well? Seems a little bit suspicious. You know, I think they need to kind of fix... The servants seem to have one design flaw that I think would keep them from really achieving mass popularity. And it's those fucking noises that sounds like they're goddamn demons from hell or some sort of spirit that's haunting you. Listen to that. Who would have that in their home? I mean, they, they like pant and they make all sorts of spectral noises. They do seem to have golden asses though, which is a plus. <laughs> but they're still creepy as hell. Hmm, cheese. Hmm, cheese. Hmm, tray. Oh wait, I can't eat that. Damn it. Hmm. 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 Uh. I'm so fat. Oh, I think I'm gonna throw up. Okay, I'm good. Brethren, the guard on the... Oh, wait, I've already read this. Yep. Alright, so I still need to find Vil... Vilnia to get his key. Or her key. Don't know whether that's a man or a woman. Could be either. There's people through there. Let's go back. That's the elevator. Let's go see what this guy's guarding. Let me see if I can bash him in the side of the head. Hmm. Ah, 
he he might see me, he might not. I'm not sure. Hmm. What shadow passed my view? Thou art darkly spawned, villain. Okay. So I think their field of view is about 180 degrees. Come on. Keep going. What an incredibly smart and functional room. Let me see if this key opens it. Sweet. Yeah, give me the best room that you have. I want the one with the giant pillar right in the center. That's my favorite. It even comes with a complimentary mace. Sounds like gears. The hell's in there? What do you know? Gears. The new scripture of the Master Builder, draft page 35. The Builder smiled on the things Karis had done. Out of devotion, he had invented many machines, and these machines now served him well. He had transformed wretched humans into agents of the Builder's will, controlled directly by the influence of Karis's machines. These were called servants, and they had been embraced by those in the city who considered themselves superior because of the wealth of their coffers instead of their spirits. These same people had beamed at Karis with one face, but with another face smirked amongst each other and shared affronts. For this Karis had once detested them. But he saw now their role in the Builder's plan. In all these things, Karis had forged the tools that he would use to bring the Builder's paradise to the world. The Builder looked upon these tools as Karis made preparations to put them to use, and his gaze, and his gaze showed favor. And Karis felt the Builder's hands upon him and the Builder's strength, helping Karis carry his burdens. So is this being written by Karis himself? Does he does he fancy himself some sort of god? One thing's for sure, this Karis guy has lost his mind. No kidding. So is that the uh, yeah, read his latest entry. Uh, what the fuck is that? What? Uh,
What the hell did I just see? Is that one of his servants, but a child version? Oh my god. Ugh. It's just, it's just standing there in the hallway, looking at me. Eh. What the fuck? Go away. There you go. He's got to be right around the corner. Hello? Eh? Where'd he go? Um, what? the hell was that thing? I guess he isn't just converting adults, he's converting children too. Who's making those noises? No one. Must have been the wind. Actually, it looks completely dark. Could I... Could I actually get behind him? It is completely dark. Too very slowly. Actually, wait a minute. He's a civilian. It doesn't even matter. He goes down in one hit. Go back to sleep. Yes, that's a very inconspicuous place to hide your rubies. Never mind, that's a button. Wow, so they just stuck a big red button in the statue's eye. Really? That's their idea of a secret? Good job, whoever built this place. Now, what the hell did that open? Oh. Hello? What is this? Oh, yes! Gas arrow. And some speed. You know, I love my speed. And a mine, which I'm definitely not going to use. Who's there? Hello? Oh god, you're gonna fall into the fire! Oh my god, he's burning, his foot's burning! You'll be okay! I just, I need to put your foot out. It's okay. Alright, you're fine. I just saved that man's life. Of course, he wouldn't have fallen into the fire if I didn't bash his head, but... Show thyself. Ooh. Now that I have a gas arrow, guess what I can do? Good night. Mm. 
Sounds like more machines. Did I just hear one of those children things? Oh god, let me in. Come on, one of these keys must work. Or not. Fuck, it's one of those things again. Where is it? Uh. Fuck, I don't have the key. Oh, that's the key to the office. Okay, I need to find whatever that person's name is. Okay, it's up to the sixth floor then. Alright, you creepy fuck. Where are you? I am going to bash your head open. Hey. What's up? I changed my mind. I'm getting the hell out of there. Okay, need to find the stairs. Mm, I don't want to go up the elevator. Oh, I just looped around. Alright, let me see if I can bash this thing's head. Oh, you want your mommy back? Well, you can join her in the afterlife, you fuck. Huh. Thick skull, this one. Let's try something heavier. And sharper. Wow, Garrett really is a master of stealth. He's learned how to bash an enemy over the head repeatedly without it even knowing. Okay. I respect you. Creepy child demon thing. Where are the stairs? Here we go. Wait. That goes down. How do I... Oh, I need to take the elevator. Okay. Well, shit. Or, wait. Wait, what? It only shows the stairs going up to the fifth floor, but... Oh, no, I guess... No, it does go up to the sixth. Yeah, okay. Never mind, I just read the map wrong. I don't know what that just did. Oh. Just gonna turn that off. Oh my god. This is going to be difficult. I'm gonna have to stick to the edge. Because as soon as I walk on this, I'm gonna be heard. What do I still have left to do? Okay. Well, I'm actually going to save it here, and I hate to end a mission. Uh, I mean, I hate to end the episode before I've actually finished the mission, but I've got to go. This is a this is an exceptionally long mission. I've already been playing for about about two hours on just this one mission. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I come back, I am going to break into Karis's office, and I'm guessing discover some more creepy stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.